Uh, hey, so, so check this out. We jumping right in. So uh, Keith was just telling me about a friend of his who's a uh, homosexual. It's a sister. She a lesbian, right? Okay. And, and so her grandmother, you know, I guess reminds her that she's going to go to hell, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, believe that. Let me pause for the chuckle right quick. Hold on. Pause really? for the chuckle right quick. Really? Right. So uh, the, the overall question was, Keith, it was just like, um, why, why do Christians appear to be so judgmental? And what's the best way to talk to somebody like that who might be living a life contrary to what, the, what they say the Bible says? I mean, but that whole that whole discussion right there is that is based on that. What you believe the Bible says. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's all it's about is what you believe. Now, if they believe that, fine, they're entitled to their belief. But when you start to harass people and be insulting, the best thing you can do is, hey, have Bible studies for that ass. That means right. let's go to it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so right. anything that you can point to me, if I'm going to hell for what I'm doing, is it because it's a sin? Because if it is a sin, then sin is sin. You're going to hell too. You get That's what I'm right. Yes, so sir. they know greater sins or lower sins from, from what I'm told, sin is a sin. So if you lying, you cheating, you stealing, you murdering the integrity and the character of people through your misuse of words, then shoot, you, why ain't you going? That's right. I know That's why right. they're going to say they ain't going because they're blessed and highly favored, right? Uh -huh. Anyway, get out of here with that. Based <laughs> That's on the point. rhetoric. Who told you was blessed? Who told you was highly favored? Did the scripture say that? If so, where to go? Where at? That, and that, that's like that's why I like this whole thing dealing with the whole Bible study thing, man. Yes, like, sir. let's go to it. Either you can learn to just be respectful, and we work uh -huh. things out, or we just go ahead and decide. Fine, let's go. Let's get into the scripture. Let's break it down, and let's get from the Rudy to the Tootie on what's what. Because see, people gonna calm down then. Once you take right. your ass to that book, and you say, okay, if that's what you really want to do, let's get into it. Show me that's how it. you, I'm any more foul than you are. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Prove that to me, then all right, then cool. If you try to do it uh, using the scripture, I don't want to hear what your pastor said. I don't want to hear what your friend said. I don't want to hear about how you feel. That don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Because my feelings could be just, just as valid as your feelings. You know, mm -hmm. my interpretation of the word could be just as valid as your interpretation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. a good, A good question I'll ask is, what is hell? What you mean by that? See, that's what I'm saying. Go, go to the scripture. Go you to go the scripture. scripture. Could it really be worse than what we're dealing with right now? Right. Like, <laughs> it's an imaginary place somebody made up. Come on, man. I'm not worried about nobody's imaginary places that they made up in their head. They, you made it up. Like, or somebody made it up for you. You believed in, you believed in it. Hell ain't nothing but a, mm. a, a mental state, a condition mm. of mind. How you see reality? There ain't no damn place called hell. You know what I mean? You're going mm. to find out. Yep, you're going to find out, too. we all going to find out. Right. So until then, That's can we right. at least be decent? Can we be respectful to each other? And if not, <laughs> then cool. I'm going to go in on that damn joke of a comic uh, type of understanding that you have about the, the scripture. Because for real, for real, the Bible's off the chain, if you understand it. If you don't understand it, you walk around with this little namby pamby kiddo version of some shit. You might as well be watching Saturday morning cartoons trying to tell me I'm interpreting the Bible by watching fucking Scooby-Doo and shit. Like, it, it don't make no damn sense. <laughs> Nah, you yes, sir. Thing. What yes, you're doing sir. is being trying to justify you having the need to feel like you're better than somebody. You know what mm, I'm saying? That's ego. Right. That's all yeah. it's ego. That's all it's about. So usually when people talk like that, I'll be like, hey, as soon as they say to me, you know, I'm in the I'm I'm in the Bible. I, I, I'm you know, I'm a Christian. I'm this, this, that, and the other. I'd be like, okay, are you a student of the Bible? Because that's what I am. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Bible. I can't stand people that have a weak ass view of the Lord. They'd be like, what? Mm. Dang. Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk real strong then. You, you, you believe in Jesus? Hold on. Boy, we're going to cut to the chase. Because all I need to know is what you do today. I don't tell me about no, no homosexual, yada, 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 yada. Yeah, I got on them homosexuals today. Nigga, that ain't what you was told to do. Show me where it tell you that in the Bible. Where it tell you in the Bible that you're supposed to be out here and insult somebody for they, they however you see that, 
where it tell you that's what you're supposed to go do. Da, 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 da. Oh.